news is finally yeah we have that tom ingram announcement finally yes of course today we have that that big announcement we've been waiting for from tom ingram to announce where he's driving obviously left speedway from that a few weeks ago waiting on the announcement of where he is going and of course we have here today he is joining the accelerate trade price cars racing teams to drive the hyundai for this season don't think it was quite a, a secret so much there's quite, been quite a lot of rumors that that's where he will be going for this season we never finally got that confirmed confirmation now that he will be joining jack butel as well as chris smiley in the third of the hyundai's i think people have been really really looking forward to this announcement to see where exactly he is going uh, for 2021 after the announcement he will be leaving speedwax obviously today the news is that he has signed a multi-year deal with the Accelerate Trade Price Cars racing team. So for me, similar to that jack-off announcement we had earlier, uh, well, towards the end of last year, that means we've got Tom Ingram on a multi-year deal. I'm super excited when I hear multi-year deals and BTCC. We're so used to drivers changing every year. One-year deal, struggling to get sponsorship. So we know Tom Ingram will be there for a, at least a couple of years now to try and develop that high on day forever. For me, I think that's an excellent for signing for Accelerate. You know, you've got a, someone who's always in the title hunt trying to win the championship. Coming in there, uh, it's alongside Chris Van Bu Jack Butel, still waiting to hear who the fourth driver is. I think main rumours on that are maybe Senator Proctor staying in the, car, in the car, or obviously Bobby Thompson coming as he drove for the trade prize cars last season. But I think Accelerate have now got a front-running driver there who should push that uh, high on that and even favour. Bear in mind there is four of them for this season as well. I'm not quite sure where that leaves Tom Ingram. Obviously Tom Ingram said, you know, he really sees this car as good potential. He sees it as a mix between the Corolla and the Aventus. They drove for Speedworks. But it does almost feel like it's perhaps a step backwards. I think a lot of people kind of feel that. And for me, the Hyundai didn't blow me away last season. Did get a few podiums, but it was only due to the reverse grid races. I didn't seem to be able to push forward too much last season. So it would be interesting to see if Tom can change that around. The development of the car this season, obviously, there's four of them. So that development should be accelerate a lot further and if there's any driver on the grid who can help push that forward it will be Tom Ingram so if that is to become a title challenging car now I'm sure Tom Ingram is the man to do that I think I'll yeah, possibly talk about some of the rumours now that potentially that uh, Tom could have been going to WSR I'm not sure if that would have been the right choice for me if you know he's been used to front wheel drive cars for the last few years I think that's possibly why he's gone to the accelerate this also showed to me that he wasn't always a big fan of the Corolla I don't think at Speedworks that he also mentioned that this uh, Hyundai has some of the better things that the event has had in that uh, few, the few seasons he had that. I do wonder whether that was potentially part of the reason from potentially maybe leaving Speedway, maybe he just wasn't feeling the Corolla was uh, as good a car as maybe the Aventus was. For me, it didn't seem to be as close to winning the championship as the Aventus. But that'll be, will be interesting to see now who Speedway bring in there. I think that's the one team, the two drives. No one has any idea who's going there. No rumors really at all on that. So that will be interesting to see. Like I said, I'm not quite sure where this is going to put Tom, whether this will be enough for him to be able to push for a title challenge. I didn't think that Hyundai looked last season like it was a car good enough to do that. But especially with four cars, now there'll be favorite development on it. So the other season, there's about a lot of the setups. But things like the tie rules and things like that coming in, like back in for next season, that might give us a bit more overtaking. And if there is anyone who will be able to show whether that uh, Hyundai is good enough to challenge for the championship and consistent race wins or even a race win it still needs but consistent ones as well as podiums I'm sure Tom is the man to do that yeah so, so people obviously always want to know that news was that out that Tom Ingram news out that's another one we can box off and tick off on the list I'm sure there'll be even more maybe even more announced before the end of the weekend we still haven't even had Turkington confirmed yet I think it would be highly surprising if he isn't in one of them BMWs but they've still got three day drives unannounced We've had no news on Speedwex who they've got either or uh, Motorbase. So obviously we do have the announcement that Motorbase and MB Motorsport are driving the obviously driving the Ford Focuses. So Jake Hill will have a Ford Focus this season. We're still waiting on an announcement to know who could be driving the other three of them. The grid is f uh, filling up nicely on top of that now. And I do just think it will be interesting just to see exactly what Tom Ingram can do with that car. If it is as good a car, he has, he, he has confidence in it. That's why he signed a deal. That's why you've signed a multi-year deal, so obviously they'd help develop the car. So it'll be interesting to see exactly where he can get that car, and there'll be a lot of you know, comparing him to Chris Smiley, who drove the car last year. Can Tom be ahead of Chris? Will Chris Smiley have the advantage of having driven the car already? And obviously Tom's got to get used to a new team, he's driven Speedworks for that long now, since so he's been in the cars. So let's see where that gets him. 
But that's all news for today. Yeah, there's obviously Tom Ingram in at Accelerate, and there's just a quick bit on the MB Motorsport having announced the driving the focuses, which we pretty much knew they were a partnership with uh, Motorbase, a kind of almost a four car team, kind of there now to so confirm Jay Kill there. We've still got three other seats to go there as well. Still waiting on any news from Speedworks and WSR as well. Still a few other seats up and down the grid as well. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.